Earning local status is pretty complicated, I think. No matter how much I have in common with four people, if I'm the, the fifth one and I'm not from here, they will always have something that I don't. We've been growing so fast that the sense of identity for a lot of folks in the Seattle area is challenged. probably wearing a North Face rain jacket. They always they always look like they're going hiking, I guess. Ready to go hiking at a moment's notice. It's all in the shoes, and you'll see people dressed in a suit wearing hiking boots. I feel like whenever I'm at the grocery store, it always feels like everyone's about to go or just came from the gym. Uh, I was raised in a no umbrella household. Stereotypically, I think, would not have an umbrella. There's always like a Subaru or a Volvo involved, it seems like, so I definitely have fallen right into that. Someone who's very progressive. They care about their city, they care about the environment. Someone that is very uh, educated. I don't know if reserved is the right word, but we're pretty laid back and chill for the most part. And maybe drink coffee. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta drink some coffee. <laughs> I sort of wonder if you can ever really gain local status. <laughs> I know I've been chasing it for a while. Honestly, I think you have to be born here. That's what I have figured out despite uh, you know, circles of friends that I have managed to be weasel my way into that are locals and I'm the one outsider. I don't think it's, it's based on time. I don't think it's you have to be here for 30 years. Or you don't have to be born here. You have to have an appreciation of what makes Seattle, Seattle. I haven't even visited the top of the Space Needle yet. So I don't think I can call myself a, a local. I think that you have earned local status when you're willing to do things in the rain that people in other regions would say put off for another day. Like whether it's working in your yard or going to the grocery store or grilling outside. The native part, you know, is not as important as uh, just you know, just kind of becoming part of the place, learning about the place. I think you become part of the fabric of this community by virtue of how you lean in to taking care of the well-being of this community. If you're willing to give to the community and it's not just take, take, if it's a two-way street, then people are open to having um, other folks move here. I mean, I think that you're a local when you claim Seattle as like your own. There's no one way to be a Seattleite. I think everybody comes up with their own definitions and that's one of the things I've always loved about this city. Mossback was an old epithet that newcomers had for Northwest natives. You know, we were stuck in a place where moss grew all over us and I've always maintained that uh, Mossback isn't a native. It's not somebody who was born here necessarily but it's somebody who has let the place change and shape them. If you've got moss on you, and it, believe me, it doesn't take long to get moss here, um, you know, you can be a moss back too.